We'll now link up with Yemi Dalemo, who is at the Tomatoes Farm of the Federal University of Agriculture, Abiokuta. Uh, that, this is uh, Cherry News. And so, Yemi, how soon should Nigerians expect the harvest? And uh, are there plans to make this intervention all year round? Thank you. I am already at the two hectares of land uh, where it's uh, cultivated just um, about um, two weeks ago as an intervention to address the um, tomato scarcity and high cost of tomatoes that we are having in the uh, southwest here. Well, let me just tell you that between the month of April, May, and sometime June in the southwest, we usually have um, scarcity of tomatoes in our market. It's because the supply from the north during that period is um, usually low. And for the fact that the pests were affecting tomatoes uh, farm over there in the north, it's actually contributed to what we are having, the scarcity now in the southwest. You know, our women have devised uh, other alternatives towards having that reddish color in their soup and stew. If you listen to that um, background report, you see that we mentioned the use of um, cucumber carrots and um, um, other things to just give the soup that reddish nature um, in, their, in their stew. But all this, we don't know what's supposed to be consumed raw and is now being um, cooked and eaten. You know, it may have some effect. But in an effort to address this and provide um, a kind of relief to our women in the market, in, 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 uh, in the southwest, make the University of Agriculture, Abelkuta, to come up with this uh, intervention to plant two hectares of um, tomatoes whose um, gestation period is 90 days. And you know that after that 90 days, um, it is going to have a lot of um, uh, effects on the prices, crashing the prices in the market, and also giving that our uh, women what they want. So at the farm now, I have the farm director, Mr. Emmanuel Bankole, who is going to tell us about this intervention and other um, interventions but, um, we have um, food sufficiency not only in the state, in neighboring states, and by extension in the southwest uh, of Nigeria. Mr. Bankole, can you tell us about this um, um, tomato intervention? Well, thank you very much. Uh, this is uh, uh, Federal Investor Akosha Bekuta. What you are seeing today is just part of what we have been doing. Uh, these, these two hectares. Uh, it's work of our students in the farm practical year. For a whole year, they will do their practicals, and this is what we are seeing. Beyond this, we've been doing this, and with the last one, two months, we've been selling tomatoes. People have been coming from far and near. So it's going to be continuous. Uh, after this, a modern intervention is also ongoing. Beyond a tomato, we are into so many other arable crop. We have uh, just uh, uh, 22 hectares of cassava is being harvested now. People from outside are coming. Uh, now, 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 let's look at this uh, this uh, tomato farm. What is the, uh, the the what are we expecting at the end of uh, three months? How uh, what is going to be the volume of uh, um, the the produce from here? Mm, well, this is an improved variety, and uh, following good agronomic practices, we are expecting bumper harvest from here, and we are sure that this will have positive impact in our immediate environment and even beyond. Okay. Well, um, from here, it's going to be, at the end of three months, we're going to have um, a lot of mar uh, tomatoes in the markets, and it's going to be of a good help to our uh, women. And I'll hand over to the studio. Thank you very much, uh, 